Hi, I'm Liam Matthews. And I'm Sadie Gennis. Season six of Game of Thrones is a wrap, but there are a lot of burning questions about what's going to happen in season seven. Sadie, you have a lot of theories. Why don't you tell me the first one? My first theory is one I've been waiting for a while. I think the wall's going to come down next season. The wall's not just ice and stone. Ancient spells were carved into its foundations. While it stands, the dead cannot pass. I cannot pass. When Benjen left Bran and Mira, he said it was because the wall is infused with all this old magic stopping the undead from passing through. And it's that exact kind of magic that protected the Three-Eyed Raven's cave, mm. which Bran broke because he got marked by the Night's King. So maybe it'll work the same with the wall, where once Bran passes it, the magic's gone, and now the Night's King's army can pass right through. Okay, so what's another theory? A lot of people think that Sansa's gonna turn on Jon next season. We saw that look that Sansa and Littlefinger shared after Jon was crowned King of the North. And at first I just thought that was like, oh, she's worried about what Littlefinger's gonna do next because he wanted Sansa to rule the yeah. North. Sophie Turner has said in interviews that Sansa is agitated with not being given credit for helping take back Winterfell, and she's even beginning to see Littlefinger as more of a potential ally. And so we'll see how that goes, but if Sansa does turn on Jon, I'm worried for her because yeah. he's the one with this big destiny. I don't think he's gonna die. If she goes against him, though, she might. Okay, so what's another theory? We might see Cersei team up with Euron. Chop down every tree you can find. Build me a thousand ships, and I will give you this world. He's building a thousand ships for Daenerys, who has already turned against him. Who's he gonna give those ships to? And Yara and Theon have teamed up with Daenerys, and he needs to kill those guys if he wants to keep the salt throne. Cersei needs the forces now that she's lost Highgarden, and probably the loyalty of a lot of other houses. Right, she's completely alone right now, and she needs any ally she can get. And he's really the only option at this point. So I think we might see a very interesting union between them next year. Okay, so that's what we think is gonna happen in season seven. Share your theories in the comments below. And we'll see you next time on Theorizing Thrones.